The following content contains spoilers, so please be advised. You can leave now. Or stay, because I will spoil the shit out of this. I'm telling you, I will spoil it. If you're looking for something to indulge yourself in this upcoming Valentine's, I think Float is a movie for you. It's this uh, semi-romantic film about uh, love transcending boundaries in a way. Uh, this is the story of Waverly. That's a weird name, Waverly. Waverly and Blake. Uh, Waverly is a upcoming doctor in a way. <laughs> So she, instead of going to Toronto to start her residence, she goes to her aunt, who I forgot what town she was in anyway, it's not important. It's a beachy town anyway, a village or island, whatever. It's important. This is very bad start of giving a review when you don't have all the facts. But I tend to not focus on facts when I give a review on a film. I usually emphasize more on the feelings I got and the more impressions I got so this gave me an impression of the first glance I was like why does this girl want to give up her future for this guy and it's love love makes you do stupid things strange things so this film sort of encapsulates that and love true love or love in its essence and its freshness and its wake and its bloom Makes you realize things that you didn't know. Makes you achieve things that you didn't think were possible. With this one, Blake teaches Waverly how to swim. And she sort of teaches him a level of calmness towards his sister. Because this guy's been raising his sister since his parents died. So he's been parent for this kid. Now, since the kid was seven, now the kid is like 16, 17. So for 10 years, this man has been looking after his sister. Pretty much set his dreams and hopes aside to look after her. And they're, you know, she's in her tween years and she's being a little psychotic as teenagers and tweens go. I'm getting a little derailed here. Um, so with that, it's, it's, a, it's a loving story, really. It's, 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 it's not blockbuster. It's not, wow, Hollywood. It doesn't have all these crazy elements. It's just subtle and nice. And I appreciate it for that. You know, it's not in your face romance. It's. You know, there's a few kissing scenes and two people waking up in a bed in the morning together. It's lovely. It's you can watch this with your grandma and not be uh, red faced or red cheeks in, in terms of blushing and embarrassment. None of that. It's just wholesome. It's sweet. It's nice. It's kind. It's lovely. So, yes, go watch it. And it's a blossoming film, really. It, it talks about two people basically from opposite sides, if we're talking racially. But it's not really a racial film in that sense. And I feel like it, it, it sort of captures the, the subtle moments that, you know, the little sacrifices, the little things that sort of stand in the way of love. And sometimes we overlook these things. We put too much emphasis on things. I can't be with you because I'm looking after this person. I can't do this because I'm doing that. It's overall just excuses that sort of stand in the way of love. And this sort of looks at it. And of course, this is also based on a novel by, uh, is it? Let me see this for it. Give me a sec. It's based on a novel by Kate Marchant. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, it's it, So it's sort of like um, in production with um, Collective Films, Elevation Pictures, and Bright Light Pictures. Sharon Lee directed this thing. So it's it's really great. Audrey Bang, Robbie Anwell, and King Bash sort of graced the stage for this film. I really enjoyed it it was subtle like i said so i recommend anyone uh this valentine season this lovey-dovey season if you're looking for a, a subtle film just to snuggle around with your bae or your boo whatever you people call each other this will do it for you it won't leave you with butterflies in your stomachs like oh my god this is amazing but it's a cute moment and sometimes you need a little few cute moments in your life something that's sweet subtle and nice and i think this captures that feeling so go watch it it's nice usually i psychoanalyze a film like screen for screen detail to detail but this seemed wholesome a girl almost drowns the stop of fight between a brother and sister and her boyfriend and the, the guy saves her 
and he teaches her how to swim. She knows how to swim. And the rest is history. <laughs> it's just beautiful. He travels all the way to where she is and they lie in bed as the film, the credits start to roll. Lovely stuff. So it's subtle. Probably why I'm speaking in a more subtle voice today. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching again. Uh, let's hang out another time. Now that was entertaining. Please let us hang out yet another time. Remember to like and subscribe. Adios, folks. Adios.